Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's been a minute, it's Wednesday today, and I am very excited, just in general, <laughs> for lots of things, but let me give you a little like update since the last time I vlogged. I think I, mostly in that vlog, I like did cooking stuff, but I showed you guys a little bit of the beginnings of updating my office. So I wanna continue with that in this vlog and make a little bit of progress. I did have the chairs I picked out. I finally picked out some chairs, which a little backstory to that is, maybe I'll insert the footage of me opening them and setting them up with Jared last night because I already filmed that just because they came in yesterday and I wasn't vlogging yesterday. So I decided we would just open them and set them up and I'm kind of hiding them right now. They're like, right off frame. <laughs> okay, the chairs that I chose came in today, two days early. I just got so excited to unbox them and bring them in here. So Jared is about to help me bring them in here. They do look a little bigger than I thought, like from seeing them just online, but I feel like they're still gonna work. But yeah, I still have like crap in the corner over here. So just ignore that. And we don't have like anything on the wall back here. So this is like the first thing that's going in. But also it's like very crucial to put the chairs in because these are like the biggest thing that's going to be in this space, hopefully. So I want to like kind of work around them and see what else I can fit once they're in here. So I know this isn't the best lighting. The sun's about to go down, but I wanted to film this rather than just like show it to you guys and be like, they're here. So we're gonna bring them in. I think I told you guys I wanted to get two chairs instead of the love seat. I ended up selling the pink love seat on Facebook Marketplace. I sold it for a good price. I was really happy with it. And I just love like getting rid of specifically furniture. I feel like always sells really fast for me on Facebook Marketplace. So then I was on the hunt for these chairs. I went to about 10 stores in person, which is kind of a lot. I think I went to like six discount furniture stores and furniture consignment stores, which can I just say like, were all, pretty much all, like 90% of them were still so expensive. Like everything I saw in person was so much more expensive than what I would see online. And I just don't know why. I was like, isn't this supposed to be a furniture outlet or a furniture consignment? Like it was, I don't know what was up with that, but I didn't have much luck in person and I wasn't willing to spend $500 for a chair like it's not it's not happening for me so i did a lot of looking and looking and i was also looking every day on facebook marketplace hoping i would find something but i think the difficult thing about that was i really wanted two chairs that matched perfectly and were like pretty specific like a specific color and style so i just didn't end up finding that maybe if i had waited another like few weeks or month i could have found that on facebook marketplace but i didn't want to wait that long so after like two weeks of looking on there i ended up just ordering some that i really really liked from target they were honestly just some of my favorite ones that i found that weren't 500 dollars a piece <laughs> i went to a bunch of local stores and unfortunately i just couldn't find like two of the color and style that I was looking for. So I am very happy with these. Here's the reveal. Chair reveal. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks so good. I feel like it looks so good with the rug. Yeah, I like the color of it. Let's actually try it out, I feel. With a little back pillow. Why are you pause already up here? Well, good thing your photo is a similar color to this. Let's get it started in here. And the bass is bumping, bumping, bumping. Is that even a lyric? The bass is bumping, 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 bumping. The chairs fit. Yeah. I feel like they look good. I mean, this one may be a little close to the office. I'm not sure. I love them. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow when it's better lighting. I'll move this now. So now you can kind of see, um, but these are like the only thing that's really set up in here. I still have so much that I want to get out of this room specifically and kind of start with a more, not a complete blank slate. I'm not gonna like move my vanity and my desk and my computer and all that stuff out of here, but I want to get the walls 
I'll just show you guys because I feel like I'm talking through a lot of this right now, but kind of the general plan for today and like maybe the next week or so, I want to take pretty much everything off of the walls in here. I think I'll probably leave these shelves up, but figure out what I want to do with those because I took everything off. I want to get rid of some stuff in here, like list some other stuff on Facebook Marketplace and donate some things that I don't feel particularly joy from anymore. I just want this to be a place that I feel a little more calm, feels a little more mature, a little bit more of a clean slate rather than like chaos as this collage wall was. So let's just uh, set up the camera and talk through all that stuff. As for what I want to do today and over the next few days, I have some holes in the walls all around this room that I had a bunch of stuff hung up. I want to like take everything off the walls fill those nail holes and then I want to hang up my photo that I've had right here for like two weeks and just get some of the crap off the floor in here maybe move a plant in here see how that looks so I will show you the current state of the room which I'm just gonna say it's like definitely very cluttery uh this is like the prettiest thing right now but it's a work in progress obviously okay so i want to show you guys what we're currently working with keep in mind there's like a lot of mess that you'll see in here but when you walk in we have these shelves I don't trust what's going to be on these right now and these are just i took everything off i'll insert a before photo of these not that i hated them or anything i just want to rethink them and maybe make them a little simpler i don't know so we'll see what happens with these this is the only place i could put the mirror which I absolutely don't want it to stay here because the light is so horrendous because I have the windows right here. So this mirror makes no sense here, but it's the only place that it currently fits. I'll tell you guys where it was before and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this because it's very large and there's really like actually no place for it in this room anymore. Then we walk in and we have the pretty So we have the chairs, which you guys saw so cute. Uh, we have the rug. Um, I'll link these chairs down below if anyone's interested. I also picked up these pillows. I actually did find these at the furniture consignment store, these pillows. And I really liked them because I felt like they would match with anything that I picked. So I think they look really good. And then I did have, I'll insert like a clip of what that other console table I originally thought would work in here. But I didn't buy it specifically for this room. We, we had it out in the hallway before. So I think it was a little too big. And I didn't like the, how the color was this very similar to the chairs once I got it in here. So now I moved this one from the guest room, which is a really tiny... This is like a little drink table. It's from World Market. I've had it a few years now. And I think it looks really nice. I mean, what am I really going to even need to like put on this table other than like a candle or like maybe a drink when I'm filming in here. So let me know what you guys think about it. I think it looks cute. I think it matches nicely. There is some lighter colors, like some lighter hues in the rug that I feel like it pulls from. And then I want to put up my picture, which I told you guys, I think that's going to take up a nice amount of wall space. And I don't really feel like I'm going to want to put something else up, but I want to move this plant. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> I'm telling you guys literally everything. Um, these are completely open right now, which is not the cutest, but it's just because I want to get natural light in here and this room doesn't get the best lights. All right, so this is where kind of the clutter I'm talking about is. This is things that I found in here that I was like, I probably want to like either donate or list some of this stuff on like Facebook Marketplace or Depop. It's like random decor things that, I don't know. I might keep some of it, but I'm keeping these books and I'm definitely keeping this plant, but I want to put a bigger plant here and I thought it could be really pretty in this corner. Just imagine that's not there. If I move in a plant that I have that could kind of like, what's the word I'm trying to think? Like go over this chair a little bit. Okay, so this looks really weird right now because I took almost everything off of this wall. It was a collage wall and I took almost everything off except I stopped with these bigger pieces, but I will be taking those off as well because I don't know what I want to do with this wall. Probably going to take down my YouTube plaques over there as well and just start fresh with the vision for this wall. I think I want it to be a lot more simple. So that is a bunch of the things I took off the wall and I need to decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to 
part with. My vanity is a little messy, but the vanity is definitely staying here. We're gonna kind of like spruce it up a little bit. Okay, this is another area where I'm like, I don't know. This is where I've been keeping my jewelry and I went through everything actually in like severely downsized a couple weeks ago that's all i have left for the necklaces and bracelets i do have some other jewelry like everyday jewelry in my bedroom um and then i have these shelves that basically are just for jewelry but i put these coffee table books on to kind of see how i like it i think i really like this one these are both in my bedroom actually um, this one, I don't know. I think maybe it will say maybe I will get a more neutral one. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think. I think I might put down those blinds because now the light looks weird. Um, but I'm going to clean out the clutter that's in here first of all, like just the stuff that's on the floors. Put it in some piles, which I kind of already decided, already started doing, like keep, donate, sell, um, why does my voice sound weird? I feel like it's because I leaned over like this. Get that stuff off the floor in here and then I'm gonna fill some nail holes. I'm probably gonna like listen to some music or podcast while I do that because that's gonna be really boring. But it needs to be done. I don't wanna just leave a bunch of tiny little nail holes in the wall. So I'm gonna get my little, my nail hole filler and my little tool and do the best I can. Hopefully we can paint that at a later time. sweating and it's not centered above the chairs but I think I like the height other other than that I need to move move the rug again move the chairs again a little bit that way um the chairs really aren't that heavy so it's fine I love the colors I love how big it is I love that it was under sixty dollars I love it all okay this is as far back as I can stand in here I'm like literally up against the wall but um this is how it looks i feel like it's pretty centered now i measured and everything and i feel like the chairs look pretty centered you know we can always they're easy to move around but i'm loving it i feel like this is so cute so i feel like i want to try a plant in this corner um or like a floor lamp if the plant doesn't work i feel like something just kind of coming out of this corner could be really pretty i don't want to put anything over here because this is the closet obviously it's already like a little bit close that chair to the closet, which I was kind of worried about. I mean, though, there's like two feet of space, but um, I don't want to put anything over there. But yay, I'm very happy with this. I need a paint over, probably not going to film this because it's not going to be that exciting, but I need to paint over these little marks that my mirror made. Oh, I forgot to say that, by the way. Some of you guys probably remember this corner is like where I had the mirror perched before the floor length mirror, but it was just not like it's kind of weird to just perch it in this corner by. I don't know. It was just not the cutest. I don't want to do it again. It left a lot of marks on the wall, as you can tell, which I'm about to try and paint over. That'll hopefully help a little bit, but I don't want to do it again. So we're going to try a plant. trying to decide if this plant is too large for this area. I think I might leave it in here for 
a day or so before I make my decision. This is my largest plant, my tallest plant, which makes it hard to find a place for it. It was on our staircase before, which sounds weird, but we have this like separated staircase with a really long window that actually has like a lot of space. And the only thing we have by the window is plants. So it was there before it was in the kitchen. Um, anyway, I feel like it's kind of working for me. I mean, the leaves are freaking huge. Let's get a closer look. I kind of like it. Especially it's like really doing something to this corner which had nothing in it before. I feel like it looks good. This leaf is like fully like hanging over this chair, but it's also like three or four feet above where you would sit. So I feel like that's probably fine. I don't know, I think I'll ask Jared what he thinks, but I'm kind of into it. And it's by a window, which is good. I don't know if Squirtle likes it. I am not sure what he thinks so far. He doesn't seem to be obsessed with the chairs yet, but I keep telling him he can go sit in there. Just officially got everything off of this wall and filled all the nail holes. This is one of those things that like, even just setting up this room, I, I didn't really wanna have the desk and vanity on the same wall. They're very similar size, but I want them both. <laughs> and I want them both in this room. So it is what it is. And then I have no idea what I wanna do up here. I think that's okay though. I'm not in a rush to put stuff back up on this wall. I think it looks, nice and calming now and i think i'm just going to wait until i have some ideas come to me my mind is currently very in it and trying to picture but i know that you know at some point this will come together maybe i just need to give up on the idea of a floor length mirror in here and put that somewhere else and just be like that's what it's gonna be um, in this particular house and that's okay. This is mainly what I wanted to do today. I'm gonna like clean up the desk and vanity because I made a big mess with my hammer and all my nails and my little putty stuff that I use, the nail hole filler. I'm gonna clean up in here and then maybe get more of a vision, but that's probably the most of what I'll do today. I think this is a good pausing point for now. I think my smoothie might be a little too liquidy today but i'll take it that is a little it's a little liquidy but whatever blended it a little much Hey, hey, hey. Mm, 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 mm. How y'all doing? Already loving my new background. I mean, she's still a work in progress, but feeling good about it. It's Thursday. I have been doing a little bit of like laundry and just a little bit of tidying around the house. Made myself a smoothie. My next video is gonna be a little fun and I just filmed a clip for that. I was gonna say what I did, but I'm like, no, I don't wanna spoil the video, so. Look out for that. I'm having fun playing with video ideas this year, as I think you guys can tell. Always open to hearing which ones are your favorites, if they are vlogs, if they are sit-down videos, cooking, whatever it is, definitely let me know. I did some paint touch-ups in here earlier. I had um, Jared go get a couple like really tiny like sample sizes of paint colors yesterday, and I swear like we just can't get the color right. Our walls are like this very light gray that almost appears white, but when you look at it next to white, you're like, oh, it's light gray. And we've tried to color match literally three times now at Home Depot. And we also emailed the maintenance people here to be like, what color is the walls? Because we had to touch up something on the walls like a year ago. And they didn't give us any like when we moved in and they literally gave us the wrong color back then. We put it on the walls, it was not <laughs> the right color. I think they gave us the baseboard color, which I'm assuming was just a white. And now Jared went and got two yesterday and I painted it on the spots on the wall that I showed you guys yesterday where, where the mirror messed it up and a little bit right here and it's too dark and I already painted. And we had two different ones and I tried out the first color and it was too light. So then I went with the second color, which was one shade darker. Well, it appeared one shade darker and now it's too dark. Shoo. I might just have, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm kind of over it. I'm like, it's not, 
No, it doesn't look great, but it's also not that noticeable. So maybe I'll just hang something on the wall to cover that up because I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know I've worn this shirt in a lot of videos recently, but I was really warm earlier. So I changed into like biker shorts and just a t-shirt. It's, you know, still winter, but I don't know why I was just like got really warm earlier. Today, what's on the agenda? I'm gonna go run a couple errands. I need to take some stuff to the recycling center. Like a lot of giant boxes that we had in our garage that we broke down that needed to be done for like months. So I need to do that. I'm gonna go to my cycling class this afternoon. I'm excited about that. And then other than that, I just need to do some stuff around the house today. Nothing too exciting. I need to do the laundry. If I have time, I need to catch up on some cleaning stuff. Um, Yeah, that's what's going on today. I'm trying to, as you guys can maybe kind of see with the last few vlogs, I'm trying to like film certain things and not feel like I have to film the entire day, but maybe film like one part of a certain day or like two parts of a certain day, but not... I don't know, I'm just like experimenting a little bit with the style of the vlogs. As far as the office, I think I'm just going to like take a little breather for the next few days because I don't exactly know, like I said, what I want to do next and I'm not in a big rush. So unfortunately, it's not gonna be the type of thing where this video is like reveal, you know, the whole, the whole thing is done in one video. It's probably gonna be, you know, over the next, few weeks and figuring out where I want to put things because I don't want to rush my decision and I think sometimes I do that I'm like let's just get it all done I just need to take my time because like I said certain things with like the mirror and what I'm going to do with this whole wall I really don't know I'm open to hearing you guys' ideas I will say that I don't really want to spend a bunch of money um, I'm trying to make this as affordable as I can, I already bought the chairs. That was kind of a bit of an investment. And other than that, you know, I have bought a couple things. So now I'm trying to really just like, maybe just use what I have or repurpose things that are in like my bedroom and pull them in here. Like I've tried to do that with the shelves in here. I'm still figuring out a lot of it. So probably in my next vlog or my vlog after that, I'll have some more office updates. But I feel like this whole thing that we did yesterday was very, cute and exciting and i'm really liking the plant there jared said he really liked it too and i think it fits the space so i think i'm gonna keep it there i've had a productive day i ran some errands took the recycling just walked the dogs did a little bit of a power walk it's 55 56 today and sunny which is the nicest it's been in a while I actually broke a little bit of a sweat out there. Um, and now I'm gonna make a little lunch. We have this chicken, this breaded chicken from last night and there's a lot of it left. So I need to figure out a way to use that. Um, I think I wanna do a se chicken Caesar wrap. I'm gonna chop some lettuce, chop that chicken up. I think I'm gonna mix everything in a bowl and then just stuff one of these tortillas. It really won't be that big because these are small. I guess I could use a burrito one, but I'm probably just gonna use one of these and make it make it a little smaller, which is fine. I'm just listening to a bunch of throwbacks, like 2010 hits on my walk. Always gets me just in such a great mood. Like going on a walk in the sunshine and listening to some great music. There's no better way to put me put me in a good mood, honey. This bowl is a little large for what I what I need to do, but it is what it is. All right. I have a little bit of this romaine left. I'm gonna chop that up real fine. I don't like to go too low, so we'll do that. And a little bit of this one. I don't like to cut off the, once the ends get wilty, sorry, I'm cutting it off. This romaine has seen slightly better days, but it's still usable. I'm not sure how much more of this will honestly fit in one of these size tortillas, so I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Trying to get better at putting away things as I go and cleaning as I go, so here we go. All right, let's do some of these cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna cut these up into like quarters. They are pretty, pretty large. He's going in. I don't have any parm, but we used it all last night, so 
Um, I'm just gonna do dressing, lemon juice, and the chicken, I guess. Let's get this chicken cut up. This is a lot of chicken. All these are really big pieces. I'm like, I don't know if I wanna use all this. Maybe I'll try to use like three quarters of this chicken breast. I just don't want it to be like all chicken. That's all I'm gonna use. Didn't really get that much out of it, but okay. I mean, that's a decent amount of chicken for this size of a tortilla. I'm gonna do dressing and lemon juice. Maybe just like, that's probably more than enough lemon juice. I wish I had some parm. I need to have like a backup, like one of those just parmesan that's already in the container. I need to have a backup one of those when I don't have like the block or when I don't feel like shredding the block. I don't know. I feel like it would be good to keep one as a backup because we use parmesan. Honestly, like I feel like I use it almost every time I cook, almost every day. So here we go. Let's get rid of our cutting board. I wish I had cardinis, but I guess I bought the cheap Caesar dressing last time I restocked this. That's probably, I mean, I do like it kind of saucier. Practice putting things away. You know what, I'm feeling a little crazy. I'm gonna try that much sriracha in there because if you've never tried a sriracha Caesar salad, it sounds weird, but if you like spice, and I'm on a sriracha kick right now since I was able to get sriracha again for the first time in how many years is that? I don't know, but I'm on a sriracha kick. Black pepper and everyday seasoning from Trader Joe's. And then we'll toss it up. And I really go heavy, like I'm obsessed with se like overly seasoning my salad these days. I never used to do it and it makes it so much better. I mean, this is a wrap, but I like so much pepper and then I use a good amount of this too. Where would I be in my life without the Trader Joe's everyday seasoning? Literally have no idea. This already looks so good. I could eat it just like that, but it's gonna be even better. Let's do a quick wipe. I got some crumbs and dressing on the counter. I wish I had Jared's like amazing burrito and like wrap skills. I still feel like I just don't know how to do it that good. He's so good at it. Alexa, add mission carb balance burrito tortillas to my shopping list. You guys are gonna laugh when you see how small this actually folds up to. Like this all is not even gonna fit in here, sadly. Maybe if Jared was here, fuck. I'm just gonna eat this on the side. Cause I don't wanna like stuff it so much that it's, just eat that on the side. Have to eat that with the fork, honey. It's gonna be, gonna be the best to get, honey. Tuck, tuck that and then you do, oh, it's already exploding. You just kind of roll it. Mm hmm It's exploding out the sides, honey. Just shove it back in there. Like, I just don't know why mine can't be cute. But one here. One here. Hopper down the middle. Just so y'all can see a nice cut. That was not a good... Oh, my God. Everything's falling out. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, literally everything's falling out. These tortillas are pretty weak too, the carb balance ones. But look, I'm just gonna have a nice little Caesar salad on the side. I think I just needed a bigger tortilla. These are hard to use for a wrap. Anyway, lunch is served. All right guys, it's Friday. I just got out of the shower and I'm kind of letting my hair air dry, but I have been roped in to who the fuck did I marry on TikTok? <laughs> I've been hearing a lot about it the past few days. And I just thought, you know, I love a good long form. I mean, this is short form, but these are like 10 minutes each. There's so many parts. Um, I'm sure when I publish this vlog, it'll be like, you know, slightly old news or something because I'm probably gonna get through this. If not today, well, I'll probably get through this by tomorrow. I'm only on part nine and I think, I think there literally is 50, 52 parts. But if any of y'all are looking for something to do while you're doing something, I mean, I watched this in the shower. I would just watch this while I was getting ready. It's been like an hour and a half now. It's really keeping me, keeping me roped in. But anyway, I am about to clean out this hallway. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but I've been like stacking up all the things from the office that I got out of here. And I really want to touch up the guest room too. I don't even want to show it to y'all. It is like so messy right now and I really need to make the bed in there. So I've just been meaning to do this every time I come up here the past few days. I've been like, this looks horrible. So we're gonna continue 
who the F did I marry and get all this stuff. I don't even know where I'm going to put everything because some of this stuff I want to donate. Some of it just needs to go downstairs. Some of it is probably going to go back in the room. I don't know. It's not that bad, but I just want to get it out of the hallway. Let's do it, boys. So I moved my mirror here. I feel like it currently looks like really weird light, but I'm currently getting used to it, but I feel like it does fit here. It's not my favorite thing in the world. Maybe I'll try to have Jared mounted on the wall so it's like a little more intentional. Let me know what y'all think. But, and also this is not gonna be here. I moved this out of the hallway um, and I'm probably gonna list this on Facebook Marketplace because I don't really have a place for it anymore. Um, and I don't like it anymore. It's I actually never liked it. Cute little fit today. I got my newly in the mail this week. So this is from Free People. My jeans are Abercrombie. These are Aloha's. Um, this is from Aerie. And I did my hair in a little clip because I just kind of let it air dry today. So I did like a little, like a little half up, half down with some pieces. I am going grocery shopping and... I'm bringing y'all along with me. So I think we're gonna start a grocery outlet again and then we'll go to Winco. And I think that's all we're gonna do for today. Look at my boys. Look at my boys. I did clean out this hallway, but I never filmed the after shot. Look at my boys. This is not this is not flattering. I am pale, but grocery outlet is slayed again. I only got some random stuff there, which I feel like is kind of the the vibe. Like I feel like I, I did find a few things that were actually on my list that I got there. Um and then there was just some random stuff that I was like, okay, like maybe some impulse buys, but also like it was so cheap I had to get it. I feel like my store at least has been good so far for like coffee, cold brew oat milk was super cheap i got some of that they have like good drinks i feel like the drink selection even like the wine and everything is really good but also like snacks and stuff i feel like there's good snack deals and just random things so i got, got just got some random stuff there but i only spent i think 35 dollars which is kind of crazy i got like a whole big bag and then a half of a bag so i feel like i got i mean that's pretty cheap for i don't know how many things i got it was probably around 15 maybe a little less but that's pretty good right i don't know i feel like that was pretty good i am gonna go to winco just finish up the things that are on my list and then we'll head home all right i'm home uh, i actually didn't really get that much when i laid everything out i was like this really isn't that much but i did do a massive grocery shop in my last vlog which that was like over two weeks ago now but we still have a lot from that we honestly have a lot of produce because i will show you guys briefly i don't know if anyone had just noticed this thing in the background of my vlogs but this is by garden i was supposed to do a brand deal with them a few months ago and then it fell through um so i haven't really showed this but it's basically a bunch of like lettuce and herbs and things that we've been growing behind the scenes i think this has been growing for almost two months now and we have so much there's a lot of herbs some things are still Ooh, i think these are our tomatoes yeah that are about to start and then we have a lot of lettuce so we've just started harvesting some of this but probably won't need to buy lettuce and herbs and things like that for a while so we also have some cilantro down here it's very exciting honestly we probably have a little too much lettuce but you know we have a lot and it's done really well so here's everything i got today i really i feel like it wasn't it wasn't that much but i spent under a hundred dollars for everything and i feel like that was pretty good for produce i really didn't get much like i was telling you guys but we did get some lemons uh baker potatoes a bell pepper a jalapeno and some zucchini i'm trying to like great zucchini and sneak it into things and you really don't taste it at all so it's good for like pasta or soups or something like that so i want to make something with sneaking the zucchini into it some parmesan and bacon butter just things we're pretty much always out of 
Uh, I did grab some green chilies. I think we just ran out of these, I'm pretty sure. I got a little thing, because sometimes you only need the tiny can, but these ones were actually like super cheap to get the slightly bigger ones, so then I got two of those. I got some eggs. They're, they have eggs for like really cheap at grocery outlet. It's a little cheaper, I believe, than getting the ones I get at Winco, so. And I just get like the large brown one so I got those I got a thing of parmesan I know I already have one here but I was I telling you guys that yes when I was making the Caesar thing I want to have like one of these that's just like a backup for when we don't want to grate it or you know if I happen to run out of the block so I'm going to try to keep it st strictly for that I found some burrito carb balanced tortillas at Winco. Got these score bars. These are like a toffee bar. I really like to make cookies with these. It's kind of like a secret ingredient in brown butter chocolate chip cookies. So I got a few of those because they're only like a little over a dollar each. I just want to stock up. These are Jared's fave, the oatmeal cream pies. They had those at grocery outlet. And then I got us some jalapeno kettle chips, some Cheez-Its, and I really like these mini bags of popcorn and they're like a really good snack size and sometimes Jared doesn't want to split a whole bag with me so I'll make a little mini bag for myself. I got a rosé, some cranberry raspberry juice. I like to keep that for making Cosmos, making drinks, and also drinking. Jared likes to drink it. Then what else do we have? Um, oh, I'm so happy to find these. I, these are like nostalgic. We used to always have these growing up these cozy shack chocolate puddings and they had it for like i think this whole thing was 1.99 so i'm excited that was like a random impulse but also like a craving also i found this whole thing of greek yogurt which was on my list for 1.99 at grocery outlet which i thought was crazy usually that would be like at least 4.50 or 5 dollars so definitely grabbed that i use that mostly just for smoothies i don't love greek yogurt on its own but I sneak it into my smoothies for protein. Found some good deals on cold brew. This whole thing I think was, I'm trying to remember, four or five dollars, and that'll make like 10 servings. And then this barista oat milk, I thought looked so good. It was 99 cents. So it looks pretty creamy, and I'm excited to like test that out for specifically for my coffee. I got Jared some taquitos. These ones were on sale at grocery outlet too. So We'll see how these are. I don't think we've tried that brand. And I try to just stock up whenever I use one of my canned goods that I keep. I try to just buy it back so we always have it. So I used some of these in our chili the other night and I restocked. And then this is a fave that I feel like I talk about a lot, the Dairy Free Ranch. I love this. Um, I use it all the time for like dipping veggies and Basically, whenever I use ranch, I just use that instead. And that is the grocery haul. It was like a lot of snacks today, I feel like, and drinks. But like I said, we just didn't need that much produce and things. I really didn't get like any meat. We're kind of like good on stuff like that for now. So yeah, that is the minimal grocery haul for today. I'm eating the same thing for dinner as I had for lunch yesterday to try to use up this chicken but Jared wrapped it for me and look with a normal size tortilla this time and look how much better it looks. There still was a little extra though, but that's okay. Squirtle says that looks good. Hi guys, it's Monday. I don't think I vlogged this weekend. <laughs> Not much went on. I was mostly just at home this weekend and I just did like some cleaning and catching up on stuff around the house. I've been finishing off this vlog, editing it, and I kind of wanted to give you guys a quick final like update on the office because I feel like I didn't do that just to show you like what I'm currently working with and what it currently looks like. So I filmed a little clip of that. Here's the clean hallway shot I never gave you the other day, by the way. Cute, cute. And now that we don't have the mirror back here, <laughs> it's truly so much better. I wanted to show you guys the mirror on the staircase in slightly better lighting. <laughs> this plant is currently coming for me but I feel like I would stand right here to take my outfit photos and that is why I need to keep this for outfit photos I don't know I feel like it's really the only place for now but I wanted to show you guys it in better lighting when it didn't look as offensive I've been working on these shelves more and what I want to do here 
and bringing in some pieces that I had, but yeah, I feel like I'm getting closer to what I want from these shelves, but I'm still not done yet. I think I want to work on this one for sure more and I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. These might completely change up by my next update. And I did want to show you all this just because it's like cleared up now. I um, kind of adjusted the desktop. I pulled it down and I put a plant over here and I feel like it looks a lot cleaner. I tried to like clean up the cord situation and all that stuff. Same thing for my vanity, which I did order a new vanity stool because you might be able to tell this one is very like slanted and messed up. And as much as I tighten it, it always does that. And it's kind of like a little bit, I don't know, it's just badly made. And also I don't like the fluff. So I did treat myself to a new vanity stool. I'm very excited about that. I'll show you all that hopefully in my next vlog. I cleaned up the vanity situation. I tried to just like limit what I have out here as much as possible. I think instead of curtains, I am gonna get some window pull down thingies and the wall is still completely blank over here. Um, sorry that goes out of focus sometimes. I remembered I have this shelf that I never ended up putting up. It's not that big. It's probably less than three feet wide, but I was thinking maybe I could put that in the middle and do like some of my pictures that I had and like maybe a plant I don't know just like see how that goes and then maybe I would do like one thing hanging over here one thing up I don't really know you guys but <laughs> I know I just don't want to spend much more money but I honestly don't think it looks bad like blank right now I mean it's very peaceful yeah let me know if you guys have any ideas of you know things to do with this wall or any suggestions i feel like overall i'm pretty happy so far and i'm trying to be okay with letting the process happen as it does and not as i said in this video like rushing to just get it done because it honestly still looks really great in here like i'm very happy with what i have done and it just already feels like so much more calm and peaceful and not as like crazy pink. I'm glad that I am doing this for myself, but I think that's where I'm going to end this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I love hearing from you in the comments down below, so give this video a like if you enjoyed this vlog and if you want more vlogs. I did film a new sesh video this weekend for my Patreon with some fun life updates and I did a little Q&A. That should be up either the same day as this video or like within two days, like it will be up this week if you wanna check that out on my Patreon. And thank you guys for watching. As always, I hope you're doing well and I will see you guys so soon in my next video. Bye. Every time we talk, I got